Hello and welcome once again to another episode of Tony's Comfort Kitchen, the home of comfort food. Right, a few videos ago I did a Creole dish, I did a jambalaya, uh, which proved quite popular and I got a lot of uh, positive feedback from that. So I'm going to do another Creole dish today. I am going to cook a gumbo. If you don't know what a gumbo is, it is a stew, basically. Uh, with pretty much the same ingredients as a jambalaya, uh, but there are one or two other uh, ingredients that I'm going to put in as well. So, if you want to know what they are, hop along with me. Right, first thing we're going to do, I'll just put a little bit of oil in a frying pan, and I'm going to add the flesh of two chicken thighs. There we go. It's two chicken thighs, just cut up into whatever size you want. I've just left it. Like that, I might chop them up a bit later just to make them smaller, but for now that'll do. All I'm doing, I just want to brown these off. Okay, with those browning off nicely, I'll take them out, put them to one side. And as with the jambalaya, I will add some uh, chopped smoked sausage. Again, just brown these off just for a, a brief period. Won't take long. Right, with those nicely browning off, that'll give them even more flavour than they already have. Um, as usual, I'll put all the uh, ingredients and the measurements in the description below. Uh, there was about 160 grams of uh, sausage here. Or well, there should have been, but they actually ate a piece. <laughs> But normally 160 grams of uh, smoked sausage. Now then, you may have heard of, or certainly in the lyrics of the song Jambalaya, uh, they, they talk about a filet gumbo. And I was wondering what filet was. It turns out, I did a bit of a Google, and it is a powder made from dried leaves of a certain tree in, in around Louisiana. Uh, I think it's called a sasky or something like that, I can't remember. Anyway, if you know, please let me know in the comments below. Um, uh, they're normally in a, in a gumbo, or in a lot of gumbos, and certainly in mine today, uh, they add okra, which is something that grows in the, the Louisiana area. Uh, and that flavours it, obviously, and it also thickens. It's a natural thickener, so it thickens the, the stew. Uh, now, in, in times of the year when okra isn't available, they would use this filet, this powdered um, dried leaf, to, to flavour it and, and thicken the sauce as well. So that's where you get filet gumbo from. You see, you just don't get this sort of information in Jamie Oliver's videos. I mean, come on, you know, much more informative here, eh? eh? Right, so in a, uh, in a new pan, uh, we're going to add uh, 100 millilitres of vegetable oil and 100 grams of plain flour. Now the idea is we're going to make a roux. Now roux essentially is uh, a thickener. It's used as a thickener. Uh, it can either be with oil like this or it can be with butter and flour. Um, now the, the, this is the only tricky part of the, of the dish because if you, if you let this burn, your dish is ruined. You're going to have to start all over again. Um, now then, I've got to explain this roux. Uh, usually a roux when it's, as you could call it, blonde like this. When you add it to a sauce, it will thicken, uh, but it doesn't have much flavor. Um, the darker it becomes, or the longer you cook it, and the darker it becomes, the more flavor it develops. However, uh, it loses its ability to thicken a sauce, uh, the same as if it was, if it was like this color. Um, but uh, I want it to be darker. Uh, I want it to, to um, give more flavour rather than give its thickening properties, less, less than the thickening properties, if this makes any sense, because I'm going to add the okra, and the okra is a natural thickener anyway. So it's a fine balance between getting uh, flavour and the thickener, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm just trying to cook this down, and it takes a while, it will take a while, I'm cooking it on a, on a sort of low to medium heat, and you've got to keep turning this all the time, you can't turn your back on a roux because it will burn. Just keep an eye on it, keep it turning and you will start to see it turn colour and go uh, darker, darker brown. 
which is what we want. Now it's been about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but the, uh, the roux has gone a nice, um, well, it's gone darker, darker than, than you would say a blonde uh, roux would be. That means that it's uh, got a lot more flavour in it, but it won't thicken, as I say, it won't thicken the, uh, the sauce as much as a blonde uh, roux. But that's what I'm looking for because I'm going to use the okra. Now then, to that roux, which is super hot, I'm going to add what they call the, the trinity or the holy trinity of uh, Creole cooking. And that is one onion, finely diced, one green pepper, again diced up, and two batons or two sticks of celery. Now this goes into all that stick. This goes into all krill cooking. Just keep it turning. We just cook those those vegetables into the roux and I'm going to add the spices. You see these, the camera won't focus. Which is one teaspoon each of paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne and some salt and pepper as well. Again, it'll all be in the description below. Ooh. What an odour. Now this looks very dry for the time being, but don't worry. We're going to add uh, 500 millilitres of chicken stock. Now I don't know if that's going to be enough, but uh, it'll be enough for now. And uh, I can add some more uh, later on. I almost forgot the equivalent of four cloves of garlic chopped up. This is garlic paste, so two teaspoons. And we'll add the stock. And we'll add back in the chicken and the sausages and all the juices. But <laughs> it looks like it's starting to thicken already without the, uh, the addition of the okra. So I might have to add in a little bit more water. Uh, another few hundred millilitres of water I would imagine. Now I'm going to add the okra. Now if you don't know what okra looks like, that's okra. You can also call it ladies fingers. Um, but I've chopped up 100 grams. And in it goes. Now I'll be totally honest with you, this is the first time I've ever cooked with okra. So this is a first for me, and maybe for you. But uh, you don't... You don't have to, if you don't like okra or you can't find okra, I actually bought this from a local supermarket, but if you can't find it or you just don't like it, then uh, you can admit it, you don't, it doesn't have to be uh, um, a part of the dish, um, but you just, you don't need to cook the roux as much as I have. Um, and then the roux itself will thicken the, um, the sauce. I hope this is making sense. Anyway, I'm going to cook this for about half an hour uh, and then I will add the final ingredients and then uh, cook it for another 10-15 minutes and it should be done. <coughs> okay, it's been cooking for half an hour now. Um, I had to put a little bit more water, well, quite a bit more. <laughs> it was near a, um, a litre than 500 millilitres. <laughs> So uh, it was quite thick. So the final ingredients go in, and this is a uh, handful of prawns. Uh, there's about 18 or 20 there. Stir those in, and basically that's it cooked, but I'm just going to carry on cooking it for around 10, 15 minutes, and uh, then it'll be time to dish up.
Okay, this is going to be lovely, I'm sure. It smells divine. Um, I'm just going to chuck in, excuse me. Hot. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Chicken sausage. Oh. Mm. Try, to try the, uh, the okra. Mm. Oh, actually, the. Mm. That is excellent. <laughs> it really is good. Um, the okra, as I say, I've never actually tried okra before. And that's actually quite nice. It's retained a little bit of a crunch in a sense, um, but the inside is soft. There, there is a, just a wonderful flavour. Uh, similar in, in a sense to the, the jambalaya because it's using the same trinity of vegetables, the, the uh, onion, the green pepper and the celery. Um, they're mixed with the, uh, the sausages and, and the smoked sausages and the chicken. Oh. Oh, it's gorgeous. And the spices as well. Uh, I forgot to mention thyme. Uh, I put thyme in there as well. That's gorgeous. There's a wonderful aroma in the house from doing that roux. It actually smells like baking bread. <laughs> because all the flour that we cooked in, in the oil there. Oh, definitely give this a go. Um, so I've cooked the uh, jambalaya. I've cooked the, the gumbo. Now, if you look at all the dishes that are in the song, jambalaya song, the next one I've got to do is a crawfish pie. So maybe I'll do that one day too. So <laughs> to finish it off, oh, excuse me. Mm. Please like, comment and subscribe if you like this. Um, and if you give it a go, let me know in the comments below how you get on and what you think of it. Um, and uh, here's a big thumbs up for Creole cooking. It is fantastic. Give it a go. Peace and love my friends. Peace and love.